About two years ago, I was uh, standing outside and I saw the object coming towards me. Uh, it was just white. I knew it wasn't a plane or um, anything of the normal realm of basically conventional aircraft. And saw it about here. I went and grabbed the binoculars. Uh, I didn't have any time to uh, set up a camera or anything and so I grabbed the binoculars and ran back out and I watched it. Uh, it was on a level flight path come all the way across. Uh, just nice even path. Um, different, uh, more so different than anything I have ever seen. Um, it, when it, when it in flight, it was it would tumble in. It would, uh, I guess, the best way to describe it would be morphing. You could just see it. Just, uh, it's hard to explain. It's just really hard to explain um, something like that. It you got to see it, you know, to believe it. Oh, well, for months and months, I I can remember I'd just be thinking about it. I used a pair of uh, ten by fifty uh, binoculars. So I, I got a close enough view to uh, know what I was seeing, and once again, it, it was so strange. It's just, just like, it would just like do this as it was flying. I mean, it, it, it's weird. Um, May sixth, twenty thirteen. Uh, constant planes. Constant, uh, all directions. Um, Plane come coming above me, uh, right over me. Um, I looked over to my left, and I saw this white object, and I actually thought it was the same um, UFO um, that has been uh, uh, continuing with repeated visitations. These multiple sightings that have gone on since. Uh, 2010. So I see the white object May 6th and I put the camera on it. And uh, when I saw it and I got the camera on it, the plane had just gone over my head. Um, and uh, it was shot in uh, 1920 by 1080 full HD. Used a, Panas used a Panasonic for the recording HDC HS model. Vivitar HD lens and a UV filter uh, produces a, a very sharp and accurate picture. Um, so I, I was on it and uh, shut the system down and went to a different uh, spot. Um, started shooting it. That was scene two. Um, and then I watched it. It was kind of interesting because it it went it went and then it hooked off like this. When I after the second scene, I, I it, the camera focused out on me, and I could visually see it with my eyes. That's why where I saw it turned. And uh, then I, I lost sight of it. It, it was it was just looked like a spot and um, after that the planes uh, man talk about uh, talk about invade Jesus oh you can't imagine what I what I uh, did end up recording of the planes after was nothing to what went on up there for the next say three and a half four hours up until dark. I mean, just constant. According to May 6th event, um, I'm looking through a, a viewfinder about 
well, 2.5 by 3 inches. And that's why during the actual recording, I'm like going, what in the hell? Sorry. Uh, because it, that object is extremely tiny on that picture, and I really wasn't sure what was going on. All I knew is that something was not right about it because all the air activity before and even then more so after. So after it was recorded, I shot what I did at the uh, planes and I didn't hang around much longer because I, I could have just shot who knows how much more. Um, then I had watched the uh, recording on, a, I have a 20 inch uh, LCD and LED screen. I don't know. I knew when I watched the playback of the uh, May 6th event, I knew within a minute and a half after watching it, I knew it was the same uh, craft that I saw two years ago. Um, I'd like to really get it even closer. I'd like to get it above the house for about 10 minutes because it, it's that same morphing type, really strange. Uh, bending and it, it's it's you know a lot of energy to it i have pulled a lot of pictures off the actual recording um uh, most of them will probably never be shown um there were hundreds of them i went frame by frame the first on the first recorded scene and i yanked at any sharp picture that appeared on that recording I, it was extracted or pulled uh, as a, a JPEG file.